We bought the most powerful handheld steamer in the world, well, according to the box, and we're gonna see if it can eliminate the wrinkles on the most notoriously wrinkle-prone fabric, the dreaded linen shirt. I'm also gonna share how you use it and give you an honest review to share if I recommend buying it to replace your old steamer or iron. This is the Conair Turbo Extreme Steam 2-in-1 Steam and Iron that we got at Costco. We bought this at Costco on sale for $39.99. At the warehouse, it's usually $49.99. And I swear, every time we go to Costco, we always see this steamer. And my wife has always been wanting to buy it to replace our old steamer from Amazon. On Costco.com, it got 4.2 stars. Some people were critical about the water container, saying that they had to fill it up frequently. Also, filling this with water itself is pretty difficult, and that the ironing functionality is not as strong as they expected. Now, let's talk about features and design. I'll talk about the most biggest, most distinctive feature about this is that this is a steamer and iron combo. So personally, I've never seen this before. I've only seen a steamer by itself or an iron by itself. I've never seen it combined into one. This actually shoots out steam, and this plate actually gets hot like an iron. So it actually comes with four attachments. We have a delicate bonnet to protect fine fabrics. We have a bristle brush to loosen the fibers and allow the steam to penetrate better. We have a creaser attachment for creating those sharp precise creases in your pants let's say. A silicone band at the top here that is intended to pull fabric taut for optimal results. And the last feature I'm going to talk about is the auto shut off feature. This Turbo Extreme Steam has a smart sensor safety feature. It means when you pick it up, it starts steaming, but then when you put it down, it stops the steam, which is a good safety feature to help protect you and also save water that's in this water container. All right, let's talk design. This has a nice sleek design. It also has a nice big handle so you could grip it properly. It is big and bulky. And so like, while it's not impossible, I don't think you want to be traveling with this and putting this in your suitcase. Pretty heavy, so if you're expecting this to be sort of like lightweight, it's not, but it is honestly kind of similar to a regular iron. I also love this steam and iron plate. It has an extra large aluminum sole plate, which means it could steam a wider area. Now I'm gonna show you how to use this steamer. First thing I'm gonna show you is how to fill up this water container. But before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to use distilled water when using this steamer to prevent mineral buildup in your steamer. If you do use regular water, you are gonna have mineral buildup over the years. So if you wanna extend the longevity of this steamer, make sure you use distilled water. The first step in filling up your water tank is taking out the water tank. And so to do that, you just kinda of grab the top here and you pull it out from the top and it kinda of just snaps out like that. A lot of people online are criticizing this because it does have a small water hole there. Imagine trying to pour this in there, that's a pain in the butt. One thing that I like to keep on hand is a funnel. You kinda of just stick it in there at the top. I'm gonna grab my water and you just wanna just pour it in. Oh, this thing's heavy. And you just wanna make sure you wash the water container. It is a lot smaller than it looks, so it's gonna fill up fast. I take the funnel out, close the rubber stopper on top of it again. Grab the steamer, make sure you put the bottom in first, and then click the top in. Now that you have your water filled up, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And so to turn it on, you want to press the button at the bottom, the dedicated on and off button right here. Once you press that, the high setting will start blinking. After it stops blinking, that's when you know it's ready to go. So actually the steam is not gonna come out automatically. You actually have to manually turn it on. There is a manual steam button right there. So once you press that, that's when the steam's gonna come out. This is ready in 10 seconds. There's a 10 second ready time. The steamer is ready to use in 10 seconds. Let's try this. Let's go ahead and test this out. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, now we gotta wait for that blinking to stop. That's when you know it's ready to start steaming. All right, we're at 80 seconds. All right, stop. Press the steam button. Oh, it started going almost immediately. It was about anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. A little bit longer than the 10 second ready time, but that's pretty darn close. It has four different steam settings, starting with low for like delicate fabrics, all the way to medium, high, and then turbo, which is the highest setting for heavier things like sweaters, curtains, or even stubborn fabrics like linen. That's the low setting. There's a decent amount of steam that's coming out. Let's ramp it up. We got the medium, significantly more steam. You could actually hear it. Now this is high. Okay, this is high. And then this is the turbo, which is the highest setting. It's a lot of steam that's coming out here. I'm very impressed. This is a very powerful steamer. Now to turn on the smart sensor technology, which automatically turns off the steam when you're not using it, you're gonna to wanna to press the mode button and hold it down for two seconds. And when you hold it down for two seconds, it starts blinking. And as you can see, it starts steaming already because I'm holding on to it. But when I let go of it, 
the steam shuts off. Because the steam is so powerful, it does go through a lot of water. So the reviews on Costco.com are valid with this smart sensor technology on. You're not using it, it's not wasting water. So that's another great thing about it. One thing to know is there's no specific iron mode. So once you turn it on, the plate actually starts getting hot itself and you could go ahead and just start ironing. There are no dedicated iron settings. So if you want to go ahead and start ironing, you can, but you can't make it hotter than it already is. Now, before we get to testing to see if the steamer can take out the wrinkles on this dreaded linen shirt, let's go ahead and test it on a cotton shirt, some more delicate fabric, and then some dress pants. Now, with the cotton shirt, I used the silicone and brush attachment, and I was really surprised that it was actually effective in taking out the wrinkles. The silicone does give it that extra pull. I'm not sure that the brush does anything, but the results did turn out really good. Next is this more delicate fabric that I found in my wife's closet. I use the bonnet attachment, which is really great for providing a buffer between the steam itself and the fabric. As you can see here, it does a great job in removing the wrinkles and the bonnet attachment is actually pretty useful so that the steam doesn't come in direct contact with the delicate fabric and so it does protect it. Let's move on to the dress pants. I use the creaser attachment for this to get those nice creases in the dress pants. I will say the creaser attachment does take some getting used to. As you can see here, it's doing a nice job in providing those creases on those dress pants. And while this creaser attachment is not like an iron, it does the job. One bonus thing to share with you about this steamer is that the box says that it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. This is especially useful for our sofa because we have a dog that likes to bring his dirt into the house and sleep on the sofa all day long. But there is a disclaimer here which says bacteria reduction rate was measured after exposing the tested samples for two minutes at a half an inch distance from the garment steamer faceplate. Testing was performed on E. coli. Just a little disclaimer there. If you did want to sanitize your entire sofa, It'll probably take a long time, but it can do it. Now for the ultimate steamer test that you've been waiting for, the linen shirt. We all know that linen is a stubbornly wrinkle prone shirt. This is exactly why I try to avoid linen shirts like the plague. If this steamer can remove the wrinkles on this linen shirt, that's when you know it's a good steamer. All right, let's get started with the test. I'm gonna put this on turbo mode, which is the highest steam, and let's just go for it. Already you can see a lot of these wrinkles being removed here. Now I'm holding the bottom of this so that the fabric is tight and by doing that it really helps take out those wrinkles. You see that? Some of that water actually just came out. Take a look at this. It's wet over here. So it's not completely leak proof. Looks like it's really taking out these wrinkles here. But it is spewing some water. It's removing those wrinkles. I am holding the bottom of this pretty tight. But it looks like it's doing a great job. I'm pretty impressed, guys. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off. All right, here's the finished product with the steaming, at least the front of it. Honestly, it did a great job removing those wrinkles from this stubborn linen fabric. Now let's move this to the ironing board to show you the ironing functionality. Okay, we got the ironing board out. We're gonna do the back of the linen shirt here and I'm gonna show you the ironing functionality. Right now it's turned on. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you don't need to do anything to turn the iron on. It's already on when you turn on the actual steamer. So let's just go ahead and go for it. Okay, you can see already it's removing some of those wrinkles. I mean, take a look at that. There's still some wrinkles there. It's doing a decent job. Typically when you go over the fabric with an iron and then put your hand on it, sometimes it might burn you. This is totally fine. Like I'm not, it doesn't feel that hot. I'm on the edges right now, which I think an iron does really well with. And take a look at that. I mean, it's not doing much there. As you can see, this is not a great iron. Let's try something different here. Let's go ahead and turn on the steam as well. Let's see if that does anything. I think it's doing a better job. And though it's not taking out all the wrinkles like I feel like an iron would, this is doing a decent job here. In my opinion, I think it could be a little bit better, um, especially if you're touting that this is a two-in-one steam and iron. Here is the finished product for the linen shirt. To be honest, like I think this is as good as a linen shirt will get, and I am very impressed by the steaming functionality here. And I actually went and steamed the back of this a little bit more since I wasn't really satisfied with the ironing. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think this looks good? Do you think it doesn't? So overall, do I recommend the steamer? Yes, I do. 
If your intention is to buy a high performing home steamer, then this is the right steamer for you. There's three reasons why I love it. Number one is that it's easy to set up. The steam comes out in less than 15 seconds. Two is that the steam is really strong. If you're expecting something that's a little bit more professional grade, I suggest you buy the steamer because there's a lot of steam that comes out. The last reason why I really love this is I like having the option to iron, even though it's not the best iron to use. I like having the option to use it. But on the other side of the coin, you might not want to buy this because it is a little bit bulky and heavy. If you're looking for something more portable, a steamer to bring with you while you travel, this is probably not the steamer for you. And the last thing is if your intention is that this will replace your iron, this is not going to do that because it doesn't get as hot as a regular iron. It actually doesn't get that hot at all. Like with irons, you could get a little bit more surgical with it, especially with like the collars and stuff like that or the edges of your shirt which this doesn't do a great job of. But overall, this is the best steamer I've ever had. I highly recommend this. It's fast, it's easy, it's strong. If you wanna buy this right now, go ahead and check out the links in our description or you could wait till your next Costco trip. If this video helped you, smash that like button and check out our next video right over here.